What's up YouTube? Welcome to a little do-it-yourself episode here on the Strip Life channel. I'm right outside my dry cleaning plant in Peabody and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to take some dents out of your car. I just picked up this Toyota 4Runner and I'm um, actually gonna be doing a lot of work to this vehicle to bring it out to Las Vegas. I'm gonna throw a lift on it, uh, get rid of that bumper, get rid of those tires, and uh, just make this thing an off-road beast. It took me a long time to find this car, especially a nice condition with the V8. A lot of the cars that I saw had some uh, frame issues and this one's super clean. The outside is in really good shape for being 14 years old. The only areas of work that I'm really concentrating on is this dent right here. Something hit it. Not really big, but I'm um, going to try to take care of that. So what I'm going to be using to tackle those dents is a paintless dent tool kit, which I actually ordered from Amazon. It comes with everything you need and what you actually do is glue the little darts onto the dent and try to just pull it out. So I'm going to go inside, open this bag up and see exactly what it comes with. So this is everything the kit came with and um, this is exactly how I got it from Amazon. So let's open it up and see what we got. So first thing they include is two little uh, like spatulas and I think that's to uh, remove the glue afterwards when you um, take the dent out. A, uh, looks like a travel bag. We got all the different kind of glues and um, yellow is for more adhesive and the white are for like normal duty. So if you have a stubborn dent that the glue isn't pulling it out, you uh, switch over to the yellow. We got the glue gun and this is a, this is actually the puller. This is what removes the dent. So what you do is you glue these little pull tabs and there's all different sizes for depending what kind of uh, dent they have. So you glue one of these right onto the car, hook it around here, give it a couple taps, and then the last one you're supposed to just tap it out and then it pops out. And that is the grab handle that you can also use if you want to manually pull a dent out. This is a little bottle with alcohol and I believe that is everything. This is something that I purchased extra and it's a hammer kit. So once you pull the dent out, this is what you can uh, hit it back with if it pulls out too much. And I think this was um, $8.99 on Amazon. And uh, pretty cool. All different kind of tips with it that uh, you can just put in. So if you need to pop it back in. So cool stuff. Let's go outside and see how this works in real life. All right. So we're going to start the repair with that little thing that is right there. You can see it when the light hits it. And it looks like something either fell on it. Maybe a golf ball hit it, maybe hail, maybe baseball, something hit it that was round and just created like a crater. And these are what I was telling you guys about the different size pullers. And uh, for this one, I think I'm gonna use this. It has the little craters in it. So the glue will get right into all those little nooks and have some really strong adhesion. So um, yeah, I'm gonna set up the camera and uh, let's see if we can pull this baby out. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is take some uh, rubbing alcohol and uh, spray it down and make sure you clean it up all good um, so you get some really good adhesion from the glue. And for this pull, I'm gonna try this, probably the smallest one it has, but gonna try to just go right in the middle of it and then uh, see if I can just pull it out. So I got the glue. I'm gonna feed some glue into it. I'm just gonna put a few drops right onto the um, right onto the puller itself, something like that. You don't need to go too crazy. And uh, you don't want to put it on when it's like too, too hot. So um, I usually wait like two seconds and then place it right, right there, right in the middle. So I've had the puller on for about 15 seconds and um, now I'm just gonna put the tool right onto it and uh, it sits right on top, locks in place. And then you use this to hammer the uh, whole pipe right off of it. Just like that. So that's a puller. Still fine, no damage to it, so you can use it over and over again. And then you take your alcohol, give it a couple spritz, let it soak in a little bit, and then the glue just peels right away. Just like that. Any little bit of residue left, you can just very gently scrape it. 
So that's what it looks like right after one pull and I uh, cleaned it all up. And uh, definitely uh, has lessened the, um, the, pretty much the impact. It did pull it out a little bit as you can see, but that's the whole point of it. You gotta pull out and then push back in. So right now I'm gonna try to hammer down the little ridge right around the crater and then give it one more pull right from the center. So next what I'm gonna do is take uh, one of the blunt tip hammers and uh, I'm going to hammer all around this little ridge that kind of came up with the, uh, the pull and just try to level it out a little bit before I give it one more pull. So this time I'm gonna use the pole that has like a little bit of um, mound on it and I'm gonna to try to just put glue right on the tip and then I'm gonna to try to get it to sit like right in the center of it. So let's see how we do. So I'm not gonna to put too much glue this time. That looks perfect. Let it dry for like three or four seconds. And right there. Uh, let's take a look and see how it comes out. Alright ladies and gentlemen, I believe I am happy with that. Not sure if you guys can see it that well, but there was a huge crater there. And now all that's left is this tiny little imperfection. It's just a little, little divot. I probably could keep going, but along with the dent, I'm pulling out the metal around it. So I don't want to keep hammering it down. So I'm actually really happy with that. If you're far away, you wouldn't even know it's there unless your eyes looking at it. So that was the little dent repair that I had done. I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for some more. I'm gonna be doing a lot of work to this truck. So hope you guys enjoyed a little DIY episode. Stay tuned for some more.